Okay, let's start recording for YouTube. Hello there, everyone on YouTube. Welcome to another episode here on this Rohan campaign, which is taking way too long. Well, not really a lot of lots of episodes, but still quite fun. Lots of <laughs> invasions to defeat and stuff like that. So for now, I do have this battle that I need to do there. Altburg is, you know, replenishing troops. Actually, we train a couple more. Probably better to go for the Erling Archers. Let me see if I can do anything double. No. Let's go for the Erling Archers there. And on Edres I have nothing, but I have these guys coming in. I have this guy coming in. This guy coming in. Yeah, as soon as these guys arrive there, I'll probably be able to do some other stuff. Yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to do that. There's a couple more units here and there. I could send a couple of these guys. You know, these were just on hold to defend against this. And honestly, I think I should move them, stop moving them to the front. Because that's where I'm going to need them. And, you know, nevertheless, I'm already losing a little bit of money there. Okay, so for now, I'm actually holding there. But at Vin, it's fine. I think I can actually start moving someone. Yeah, I can move this guy away. So I can move him here. Let's send him directly to the Foldborg in case I forget about it. There we go. And let's fight up this battle right now. So what do they honestly have? Only those mountain trolls and lots of Uric Halberds. But still, yeah, there's a couple of archers here. Let's hope that they... Hey, Krabby23-37463. Hello, crap. Can I handle... Can I tell... Can I... Um, can I call it crappy? It's better crappy. Yeah, you're streaming. Yeah, dude. So do I. So am I. How are you doing today, mate? By the way, I'm just completely tired on my legs, you know. I'm actually, you know, I'm actually just, I went to, to the gym today. And it was leg day, which is the day that I hate. By the way, I was a professional, you know, I, I, I did ha I do have a degree in physical education, so I should be more fond of making exercise. That couldn't be farther from the truth. I actually enjoy telling the other guys to do exercise. You know, that's why I... No, no. Uh, <laughs> but basically, well, it didn't, it didn't work out too well. Now I don't work on that, but, uh, you know, one has to do whatever gives money and puts food on the table. That's how my father used to say. Good, how are you doing? Well, as, as I've said, a little bit tired of my legs, like they're completely killing me. I barely was able to climb the, the stairs, you know. But oh well. <coughs> no, I do have a lot of good units here. So let me see what I can do. Shift 1. I'm only positioning on this side because, yeah, it's more, you know, a little bit better terrain overall, you know. Did you figure out how to dab? No, not really, man. Not my style, honestly. It feels like something that a, a guy with 32 years old shouldn't be doing. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. It's, it's fine. It's pretty fine. But I'm not going to dedicate the, the channel for me, you know, dancing. Because if I would, it would be different kinds of deaths. Right, so don't tell me, please don't tell me that he did the same thing as he usually does, which is to put his archers all on that side. Well, at least it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, there we go. Everything here is archers. So if I had my cavalry on that side, I would have been able to do that. Alright, nevertheless my reinforcements are, sh are showing up, and we may start poking over here while I'll send the cavalry to the other side, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. So cavalry is going to go over here as fast as possible, and these guys, they're going to go over here as I can. Reason for that is to ta start poking at them wherever I can, honestly. Now this guy... I'm just going to put him on aggressive stance. You may wonder why. Well, on aggressive stance, they actually move slower, which is kind of what I want right now. 
Right, it seems like he's deploying a little bit ahead of me. So I don't know how good this, this positioning is for me so far. What I do know is that he's sending the the units over there and I might not be able to to go over here. Well I'm gonna try, certainly. Hopefully they were they are not gonna charge me there. No, I am receiving those reinforcements, so they are, they are fine for now. Yeah, there we go. Can you attack those? There we go. Those are important units as well. Let me see if my generals can actually do something here. Pretty sure they can, actually. Let's charge those Udukarches. There we go. Sorry, I missed your other streams. It's because when you're doing it, I'm busy. Don't worry, mate. You're not forced to watch it or anything. If you can watch them, then I'm actually glad. But it's not like you you're completely forced to it, you know. Oh come on, just move away. I forgot these guys that I removed their their movement ability. There we go. So how is everything here? It seems like I'm going to manage to kill most of these archers. Yeah, they are routing, which is rather good. Over there, they are not routing, so I'm going to put them under attack. And these guys, they are not routing. That's good. And this guy, let's put him attacking, shall we? Hopefully, they will do that. Well, there's some mountain trolls there, but I certainly don't have anything that I can deal with those. These Uruks seems like they're gonna do some damage. X-Men should probably send them to the mountain trolls. And these guys against Sauron's will. Yeah, because otherwise I'm gonna lose a lot of units there. Now these guys have to clear out these scouts and stuff before doing anything else. They're still attacking those Uruks. Let's attack those Uruk archers. What is there over some Uruk archers, some Moranan guards? Okay, I'm just gonna send these guys as fast as possible to the to the front. You know, it's not like twenty six Uruk archers are going to do more damage than what he already has engaging here. So what I need is something that will that can do this. How does defeat seem certain if we're barely Attacking right now. Let's attack those Uruks. Actually, these guys can attack those without getting too many issues there. That's good. These horse archers are going to go over there. Yeah, there we go. Actually, we should charge that side. There we go. Where are the Erith Heavy Lancers? Let's control this area. You know, as soon as I control this area, I can start squeezing everything from this area. I am losing a lot of infantry units, but hopefully these guys can actually help turn the tide there. They're actually doing really well, so that's cool. I'm pretty sure that everything here is going to start rotting away. Yeah, there we go. So you guys, you can just deploy again, and there we go. I like how he went from defeat seems almost certain to we're fine, don't worry. Yeah. Heavy lancers, bodyguards, let's send everyone in. Let's go over there, actually. These guys, let's go over there. Where are you? Skirmishers are doing some damage there, but they shouldn't. Starting up a new Beastman campaign for Total War Warhammer. Nice, man. Have you ever played it with the Beastman? You're going to enjoy it if you haven't. Now we actually killed all the um all the other guys there. It is horse archers, they're doing some good damage there. 
my archers, I think they should be starting attack this guy. Let's charge over there. Yeah, these guys are fighting to the death. Those are not. But they'll very, very surely start fleeing after I charge here. Yeah, as you can see there. There we go. So plenty of them flying or fleeing, actually, the action. Let me try and get some more archers here. Yes, Malgar. Nice, man. Are you going eye for an eye, or are you going the um, the standard campaign? You know, the the global campaign, dude. Okay, so for now ev everything worked out perfectly. Everything is routing, so it's a matter of catching them up. Can actually stop these guys from attacking there. Good. What else should I be doing? Yeah, I should be sending a, a troops against this guy. There we go. Continue the battle. Now, I didn't lose too many men. Like 300 there. Well, maybe 400. And even on my forces, I didn't lose too much. So I'm quite glad this happened. If they had more trolls, I'm pretty sure that it would have been a little bit more dangerous. But still, it's good. It worked out for the best. Now, is there anyone who can still catch those guys? I think so. There we go. And there we go. Finished. Oh no, there, there's someone here running away, but they are catching them up. And that will be it. Good. Normal campaign. Nice, man. So didn't end up losing that many men? That's good. I actually had a lot of casualties healed up, especially infantry forces. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. So, this means that I may be able to conquer the first mortar settlement there. And then, after I conquer that, then I'll regroup with every every other general that I have in order to start the invasion of those, of those places. I could ransom them back, but let me just see. There's not a lot of men here. Now, let's just ex execute them. I really want to execute troops at this point. Let me merge troops and stuff. Let me see, do you still have enough infantry? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I still have enough infantry. So, can I actually attack that, uh, that guy? I might do. Yeah, but they just ran away. So if he joins up everything, he might have a good army here. But that is fine, that is fine. He can still proceed really well. And I'm getting more reinforcements here. Oh, I can retrain this guy. Perfect, 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 perfect. So it's time for an end turn. That will be it. No, I did saw some, some men showing up there, so I don't know what's going on. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, I might just get over there. Okay, let's see what is going on here. If the fight is too powerful, then I won't take it. I will just retreat. So that's Orc Bands and just one Uruk Halbert. The rest is units that I can actually take. And over here, there's a couple more. One, two, three. Three Uruk Halberds and a couple of Archers and such. Not exactly the stuff that I would like to do, so let me just withdraw. Yeah! I knew. I, I would probably get into the vicinity of the other army, so that's fine. London Gran. Yeah, why not? Death stalks the land, doing nothing, which is good. I don't know how Death can stalk the land like that. Okay, I got a coming of age here on Dunlarak. Is he a good one or this one? This one is a good one. So I'm going to send that guy down here. That's good. Actually, can I just move this guy here to make a watchtower? Could get some wildman mercenaries, but still, no need. Uh, retinue and mm -hmm, retinue stuff. Construction, lots of stuff. On the whole book, some, some barracks. That is good. How about the archery range? The ballista maker. 
Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna build stuff that will allow me some money, honestly. Garrison quarters, not really. The need to build a market. Let's build some farms. London Grand, nothing. Southern Tarbed. Hmm. Perhaps barracks? Well, no, not really. Let me see if I can get anything that provides money in the long run. Yeah. Doesn't really provide money, but still, it'll allow some. I can retrain some stuff. That's perfect. Good, 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 good. So, before I do that, I think I'm going to do this smaller battle here. I did have one general that showed up. This seems to be a better one, so let me just move him here. That way I can even spot what the, he has. Olakai and the Moranan Guards. And do I have anything to deal with those Mo Olakai? I do. I certainly do. So let's attack that guy and make this small battle here. After defeating this smaller battle, I'm just going to move everyone to the front and see if I can get a very good battle there in the against those forces from water. At least they haven't merged, which is really cool. Okay, not a lot of archers. Right, not a lot of archers. But I do have some horse archers and skirmishers, which should be in skirmish mode. I'm going to tell them to move in. Now these guys, I'm going to try to lure the the Olakai to attack these guys instead of attacking these ones, you know. Then the cavalry can just charge on the Olakai, so I'm gonna move them here. There we go. So all the trouble is about getting the Olakai as depleted as possible. Are you building any armies in Edras? I've been building not full armies, just building the, the best troops that I can throughout the um, you know, throughout the the game, let's say. So whatever whatever best units I can have, you know, I'll recruit them. Um, but for now it's just trying to amass, uh, to send all the troops, and when I'm at the front I'll have just these small skirmishes usually. So by having those small skirmishes, I don't want to have, um, you know, there's no point when you're having these smaller skirmishes, there's no point in you trying to make a very big army, because it, you're always going to get some casualties all of those skirmishes that you're going to do. So the idea there for me is to to get them to... oh. Hang on, they are actually charging the cavalry, which I don't want, so let's go back. There we go. There you go. A little bit. So, I like to, you know, I like to make a couple of battles, then regroup everything and make good armies, then do a couple of battles, then regroup everything, you know, and merge, and all of that stuff, and replenish troops, all of that, you know. Right now, I just want a couple of shots on these Olakai. Can send the skirmishes away. There we go, a couple of shots off. They don't need to kill them, they just need to cause a lot of casualties. Sending in everything that has a good charge capability. There we go. This guy can catch them all. So I did manage to send a good charge there. No one has an ability. But I know that the Olakai are quite powerful. So they're going to take on a couple of my forces. But still, the charge effects, they're mitigated because of how I'm fighting. But not the overall damage, you know. They're still going to do a lot of damage. These are spearmen. Do I have my X-Men nearby? Yes, I have. So let's go for it. Can I take this Moran and God? The other guys, they're attacking. 
There we go. I can send the militia here and these guys here. So you can see that the Olokai are losing. So are my generals, but still, they're going to lose that a little bit, but they are going to lose that. This Moranan guard is not going to have a lot of morale by being charged on the back. Even though it's just Rhythmox commissions, but they're going to do a lot of damage there. Yep. You see that their numbers are quickly dwindling. Same thing here. So I can just send these guys in melee, honestly. That will just cause them to rout, which is what I want. Olakai are getting killed. That's good. Even though the Royal Guard is suffering heavily. This Moranian Guard needs a little bit of a charge extra on the back. These guys are still alive for whatever reason. They should have routed with all of these forces against them, honestly. But oh well. That'll happen very soon. There we go. The Alakai are dying as well. Well, there's like 7, 6. Yeah, they can't withstand this this fight to, you know, for too long. They are killing a couple of these generals, but it's not like I have generals that can't be there. I think this guy is the only one that I would that I wish wasn't there. And now he's trying to move them, which will cause extra casualties. The Moranian guard here was destroyed, so it was over there. So I can just send everyone, and every single one in melee, against this Olakai. Here we go. Time to go forward. This guy, let's stop your fire. Good. There's like a Olakai, and that's it. Good. Good. Now I do s these casualties healed up are the ones who got knocked off by the Olokai initially, so I didn't end up losing too much, you know, in terms of sustained casualties. You know, considering that there, there is a unit of Olokai, that is still good. I know that I lost a little bit on the generals and stuff, but those replenish immediately, so that's cool. Execute them all. And yeah, that's an yet another army that can start moving. There we go. As, as you can see, there's a lot of generals nearby. There's a lot of people moving in. There we go. Can you retrain something? You can. You can retrain those guys. Let me send out anything that is already kind of full, like these guys. There we go. This army, come on, let's move over there. And I know there's a guy here. There we go. So no, I'm not building any army here in Edras. I might, in the next turn, just spend the money for, for these good units. But for now, I do have a, lo a lot of good units coming in. So, what I wanted was to clear up a couple of these guys, you know. Now, I wonder if I should use just these smaller armies in order to clear them out. Is this guy a knight battle? Night fighter, good. So let's make a couple of night fights against these forces to make sure that I could kill them all. Yeah. So this guy can attack here. They will fight amazingly. Like that's nothing. So let's kill that up. After killing this army, then I can kill all the other ones um, nearby. So that's cool. Cool. It's just a mopping up right now. Where are my guys? I thought they would be. Wandering around here. Actually, I should check out on them. Um, bear with me for a moment, guys.
Sorry about that, guys and girls. Had to keep an eye out on my cats. You know, my, my wife is in here, so... Okay, so only four archers. Lots of these irrit horse archers and skirmishers. I'm going to send them in to exhaust their missiles. Then these guys... Yeah, I'm just going to use them in a good line. And all of this is a really good, nice cavalry. Now, I have a lot of cavalry forces compared to other playthroughs, you know. Spe specifically, Isengard, I never had as many cavalry units. I was actually very starved on cavalry units during the Isengard campaign. Now, I want to use the cavalry just to knock them. You know, hammer and anvil, um, go for the throat tactics, really work well with uh, Rohan. Like, you know, Yurid Horse Archers can just soak a little bit and cause some damage. Now, just cause some damage to a specific unit, like the biggest one that he has right now. You know? And then the cavalry can just sweep, you know go in and take care of that. There we go. Just get rid of all those missiles. That's it. Specifically the rhythm are skirmishers because they they do heavy damage. I wish they, they had more um you know more missiles because they certainly need that. Even though each of their missiles is really good. Let me send these guys here. They can still keep attacking. Maybe though he's sending in his Uruk archers, probably. Okay, that cavalry is where it needs to be. Now these guys can move over here. You guys can move over here. There we go. Fast forward a little bit. So my archers are going to start doing some damage. Are you able to attack? Not yet. So let's move over here. These guys, let's move over here. They can still attack with those archer units. The The purpose only is to cause them to try and move a little bit. Like, he's trying to move his Uruk archers. So by keep, keeping them a little bit busy, you can actually put them into a, a worse position. Yep. So right now they're actually in range of my own archers. And he's attacking some units that I really don't mind. They're not attacking them properly. As you can see, they haven't lost anything for now. Now, not the best spot to start attacking there, but still. No. Nope. We still send these guys here. Let's put on times two, because certainly I need that. Oh, there you go. My archers are starting to do some damage, and his Uruk archers can't do as much damage to my own, you know. So that is fine. Yeah, look at that. He's already losing a little bit on, on this front. Now, these are Uruks. They have decent armor and stuff, but still. They die with so many archers focusing them down. And I'm actually attacking both of their, it seems like, right? No, these guys aren't uh, under attack of my own archers. So, my archers are only focusing down one of their forces. Yep. Yeah, there we go. I should actually just hammer and anvil them. So, I'm going to send my Rohan Spearman there. Doesn't matter who I'm attacking with, with which units. There we go. Okay. And just position these guys here for the anvil. For the right. You should make sure those two armies have replenished men because the small mortal forces can take them now. No, not really. Uh, I have knight. I concentrated on having knight fighter on both of the generals. So I can always fight only knight battles or retreat. But these smaller forces, they, they're going to be destroyed very soon. 
Yeah, look at that. Irrid Heavy Lancers, they're just going to charge over there. Royal Guard, let's charge here. Let's attack those Orc Bands. These guys, I'm going to put them here. There we go. These guys, let's just move forward. There we go. Now the whole point of making that attack is to try and cause some routing uh, situations, which is not happening really. These Orc Maulers suffered severely, so... Yep. Yeah. But they are not yet fleeing, so I gotta move these guys back in order to do the same thing. These horse archers, they might be able to attack over here and cause the necessary damage. There we go. Yep, should attack this. It's because of the terrain that they are not able to do as, as much damage, you know, as, as they should. At least I'm charging in over those Uruk Halberts there. Yep. Hmm, I was thinking, I think the, uh, this Orc Band is actually their generals, so that's why it's kind of surviving. But their Moranan Gods are not. You know, they're heavily depleted, and so are the Orcs over there. So this guy managed to do a lot of damage to the Uruk Halberts and now is losing. And I think I'm losing because of my archers being there. Good. After killing the captain, everything goes fine. You know, and these are guards of Medusa. These guys can hang on pretty well against those. So I can just send... Yeah, there we go. There's the routing immediately. It's a little bit bad because I was counting on the Orc band to start routing much earlier. They didn't start routing because of that. You know, since it was a general, it had a little bit more uh, uh, morale there. So all of these guys are now routing away, as you can see. Yep. There was a difference. We should have had a little bit less issues on the battle if I had killed the general with a charge, you know, with, or the captain with a charge, which didn't happen, but it's okay. Still have plenty of men for a full-on fight. What I don't have is a lot of your heavy lances, which I'll, I'll replenish, don't worry. Alright, let's get those. Let's get those going. There we go. Come on. Still have plenty of royal guards, so if we face some trolls, I'll, I'll have them. But uh, what I'm thinking is... Hello, Nick Master 83 Welcome back to the stream, mate. How are you doing today? So, a very good victory, and I still get some casualties healed up. Let me see if I get some casualties on the... Um, Yodid Heavy Lancers? Not really. I did suffer those. Oh, I'm afraid. That was a, a bummer, but still, it, it was mostly about that situation. When you're doing this this kind of situation, it has to work on that spot. If not, you're always going to take some casualties. But it's willing. It's a risk I'm willing to take most of the time because if it pays off, then you end up losing almost nothing. All right, let me merge my units. Now, I can take care of most of these forces, but i am got to be careful with those mountain trolls. So what I would like is to re get rid of these forces so that I can besiege Kalanhad. And then, there's a couple of forces here. There's one mountain troll. Okay, which is actually good. I... The the worst problem about, about mountain trolls is not that they they are there, is when they are in great numbers and you know in the this the uh, with a good general you know which which will mean a very dangerous battle for you uh, like this there's no problem now I should actually move one spy over there at least to spot if there are any movements around here you know. 
So I'm gonna merge. I can use this army just solo, or I can give him some extra three uh, forces. So what should I do? I didn't want to merge already those. Perhaps only after killing this guy. I have enough forces to deal with that. Yes, I do. That will be on the next episode for you guys on YouTube. So thank you guys on YouTube for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.